First, let's talk about what you're going to need to make your lion's mane totems. First off is your sawdust spawn. This is lion's mane sawdust spawn from northspore.com, as you can see there. They're a very reputable company and make a fine product. Next is the type of wood you're going to use. I'm using oak because that's what we had fall in the yard. I have indeed seen a lion's mane growing on a dead portion of that tree before, so I know lion's mane likes this wood. But you can also use sugar maple, beech, ironwood, muscle wood, and there's some other choices that are good as well. You can do your research on that. Um, these logs are about 16 inches in diameter, and I've cut them into about 12 to 18 inch sections. Some of your top sections can be even smaller than that, 2 to 4 inches. You can see there's differences in all my top pieces, but I used what I had here. Um, access to a water hose is key, so you can keep these things nice and wet, and that's also why I have them behind the shed here. The shed will keep them in the shade most of the day. The sun is to the south of us. So that's important. You don't want your logs to dry out. You want to keep them in an area where they can retain their moisture to the best level possible. And you want them on cardboard. I got mine on pallets also just to have an extra layer of separation from any spores and fungi in the soil. Because we don't want those competitor fungi in our logs. So that's what we're going to be getting started with. Hey y'all. I am here at Good Hope Equestrian and Regenerative Farm. We're soaking our totems. We're going to do our lion's mane totems for you guys. And the first step I'm taking just to ensure successful inoculation is to make sure they're soaked. Mushrooms like good wet wood. So that's what we're going to do with all these totems. I got two 100 gallon tubs. I'm going to fill them up and put as many totems in there as I can so they're all nice and soaked and wet for when we inoculate a little later this week. Alright guys, we got our totems all set up. This is the spawn we're going to be using from North Spore. Lion's Mane Sawdust Spawn, okay? We got two bags of this, which should more than adequately cover all these totems. Alright, so the first thing you do with each totem is you want to go to the bottom one. Just to get that up. layer of spawn at the bottom and it's okay to break this stuff up with your hands it's not going to hurt anything all right take my spawn and put a little base layer on the bottom doesn't have to be a lot all right that's our bottom layer take a handful we'll spread it around on here Break up the clumps too. All right, that's a good little layer there. So cover it up. Make it its next level. And we'll put one more handful on top. And we will cap it. All right, guys, and that's really it. That's how you make a lion's mane totem. That mycelium will start to establish itself between all the cracks and then go up through the wood on either side, fully inoculating those logs and giving us delicious lion's mane mushrooms to eat, which I love. They're very, very good. We're gonna time lapse the rest of it for you.
All right, guys, so we finished all our totems. Now all we do is wait. It should be about a year, and we'll get um, lion's manes out of these guys, which I'm very excited about. We do have an extra bag of spawn, and I saved several pillowcases full of sawdust when we were sawing the trees. So what I'm gonna try to do is extend this spawn quite a ways by uh, sterilizing this, by boiling it, and then when it's at room temperature again, I'm gonna add sawdust spawn to these pillowcases and see how much more I can multiply this spawn, which is see if we can get more mileage out of it. Anyway, this is Brett Bass from Good Hope Equestrian Regenerative Farm signing off, and happy mushrooming.